welcome to Mona's Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at light probe generator. We'll be looking at what light probes are just quickly, and then we'll be looking at the light probe generator itself and how to use it. Let's jump in. So this is the space that I used in the previous light probe tutorial. I would recommend looking at that if you want to go over the basics of what light probes are. But just quickly, light probes allow dynamic objects to take some of the light mapping information so that dynamic object looks like it is part of the light mapped environment. The light probe generator will speed up the process of making these light probes considerably. So we'll be looking at that. First, we need to make sure that the light probe generator is included. So for that, we need to go to Mona library, go to tools, and go to light probe generator, download. If you have already imported, you don't need to do that, but this will have a few assets that you can press import down here. Once done, you have access to a component that allows you to create the light probe generator. For that, I usually use a empty a game object. So I name it as you see fit, and then go to the inspector up here, and then go add component. If you type in light it will come up with a list of all components with light in it, but we want the light probe generator. What will happen is a large box will appear, and this is the bounds that the light probes will be created in. So usually you will move this around to suit the space that you're working in. Scrolling on the X, Y, Z of the parameters at the top here. Note it is possible to have more than one light probe generator box. So you can use these as you need to, to build up the space that you want. And of course you can use the center to position it as you need to. Once we have that, we can look at these elements here. Uh, these are just different approaches to create light probes. So let's do some quick examples. So let's go nav mesh placement eight generate this will create a nav mesh which is basically where unity thinks users avatars things like that will be and it will create the light probes according to that uh, next one we can go like this now this is a very high number so we want uh, let's say two volume scatter placement and you'll notice that every two meters you'll have a light probe inside the box Next up, let's go to 8, Generate. This will raycast from lights and place the light probes as it sees fit. And the object bounds placement doesn't consider the placement density at all. And simply places things on the bounds of objects. So sometimes that one might be useful. Now, of course, you can use multiple. So we can do that. So mixing these up and the number of units um, would be a good way to go. Now, depending on how many you have, so this is quite a lot, you can next move on to the merged by distance. So if it's within two units or two meters of space and optimize, you will merge all of the light probes into that one. So let's go again and make that maybe one. And that, that looks pretty good for this space. Now note that you have the console down here and it will tell you how many light probes there are each time you generate or optimize on the light probe generator. You want there to be less than say 1000 light probes. Otherwise the file size of the light probes will start getting quite high. So between generating and optimizing, you can usually get to a much more reasonable amount such as 88 in this case. Now, of course it is possible to edit the light probes once it's generated. The previous light mapping tutorial, which I recommend to cover some of the basics of light probes as well, covers how to do that. But if you select the edit light probes here and then adjust as needed, you can sort of get these on the edge. And there we have it. Uh, a space done in less than a minute. Note that you do have to use light mapping to create the light information for these assets. So I would have to run through this element to make sure that each of these light probes have that light information to apply to dynamic objects like the avatar 
and any animated objects that you might have. So between this and the previous light probe tutorial, which I will link in the description below, you can now create light probes and understand them to light your dynamic objects as well as the light mapping. That's it for this tutorial. Have a nice day and happy building.